Hello everyone and welcome back to I Am Interceptor, my playthrough of I Am Setsuna. Interceptor here, along with the creepy kid, again. Stay back! Don't come near my mama! What the? You don't mean this is his mother? But this is a corpse, and one that's been dead for a while. Does he not understand that she's dead? I see. I guess he thought that if he brought her human, she'd recover. That's why he kidnapped the whole damn village. Endir, can I try speaking to him? How would I stop you? Well, you are your own human being. You do not need my permission. But okay. I wouldn't if I were you. Please, Endir. If anything happens, I'll take full responsibility. It didn't seem like the villagers came to any harm. This boy is different from the other monsters. I'm sure of it. I would just like to take a minute and enjoy the graphics where you can see the reflection in the ice of the cave. Anyway. Hey, listen. <laughs> Should not have used that line in anything. Your mama is dead. I'm not sure this is comforting, as comforting as you think it is, Interceptor. I know that. That's why I brought her food. To try to make her better again. No, that's not what death is. Huh? When living things die, Time stops for them. They can't talk to you anymore. They can't do anything anymore. What? What are you talking about? I don't get it. I don't get it! Mama was fine until that man attacked her. If only he never came, she would have been fine. Ooh. Who's, who attacked her? I don't know who he was. I just hid. There was nothing I could do. It's all his fault. That man. He was so terrified with his huge scythe. Oh! Him! We know him. You don't mean that freak again. So he's not only attacking us, he's attacking monsters too? You can't stay here any longer. But Mama is... You know, my mom died when I was little, too. So I know how it feels. I know exactly how it feels. In fact, I even envy you. Envy me? Why? Well, I don't really remember my mom. Really? I remember Mama. Yes, that's why I envy you. You have all those memories together with her inside of you. Memories? That's right. You'll always have those memories. And she'll always be there. As long as you live. As long as I live. So live on. That way you'll never lose those memories. And your mama will always be with you. Mama. I... Come on, come with me. Let's leave this cave together. I'm not sure the other villagers are going to be very happy about that. But Interceptor made the right choice. Oh, that poor monster boy. Can we just run through the cave now? This is it. Oh. There's still monsters here. Good to know. I'm not sure how Kier became my tank. My magical tank. But, he did it. He is. 
Where's the food? Where's the food? Where are you? There you are. I have totally forgotten the way out of this place. So hopefully, it's on the side. Oh, I don't want to see how this plays out. I really don't. Okay. So this is the child. Whoa! Wait, who are you? Oh, you're the head of the knights. Ooh, nice theme. This is the monster that attacked our village. What do you want? I want that child. Or should I say that monster? What do you plan on doing with him? As protector of the village, I cannot allow such a creature to exist. My name is Julienne. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll keep that. My name is Julienne. I don't know if I can do a French accent, but that's what I want to do now. As head of the knighthood, I must demand that you hand that monster over to me. That's not French. I can't do accents. Head of the knighthood? That villager did mention something about that, didn't he? Then I need explain no further. Come, hand over the monster. Please, wait. I know this boy kidnapped the villagers, but he isn't an evil monster by any means. We can understand each other. All you need to do is talk to him. What absurdity! Whether he's evil or virtuous is not the issue. His crime of having endangered my people remains unchanged. Wait, please! He doesn't pose any threat, let her handle it. How sympathetic does Endear want to be? Let's make him unsympathetic. Let her handle it. But, Endear. Wait, Interceptor. Endear thought carefully before saying what he did. Lies, Endear never thinks. Our priorities are ensuring your safety and successfully completing our journey. Not concerning ourselves with monsters. But,. You're, you're working together with that man, aren't you? I'm right, aren't I? You can't fool me! Yeah, well... We should have expected that, right? And finally, you reveal your true form. Now that you have bared your fangs, I shall consider you a foe, and to my foes I show no mercy. No, stop it! Interceptor, watch out! Should we get injured again? I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh, I actually have to make a choice this time. Ooh. I'm gonna stop Julienne. Because I think she might kill Interceptor. And then I would lose my money. Stop Julienne. So you dare oppose me, Master Man. Very well, then I shall bring death upon you. Oh, I believe her. I can't believe it! What incredible magical energy! You will have an eternity to regret your foolishness in the afterlife. You shall rue the day that you ever laid hands on my people. Whoa! What did Interceptor just do? Is she floating? Oh. You wish to die first, do you? Our lives aren't all the same. Some are shorter, some are longer. But one person's will to live is just as valuable as another's. Interceptor. Ludicrous. The monster must be killed. If left alive, it shall only pose a threat to the lives of my people. The seeds of disaster must be cut down the moment they begin to sprout. But sometimes you can solve things by talking. That's why I won't let you harm this boy. Thanks. Flee! Flee, skinny monster! I know not what... Oh, 
Okay. Grammatical annoyance. From Wentz. No. I am a proud member of the Solo Wentz Club. And what that means is the word Wentz includes the sense of from. Because Wentz means from where. So that sentence, if you were to be correct, would say, I know not from from where. Solo Wentz. Do yourself a lesson. I mean, a, do yourself a favor. Do not, do not, do not say from whence. Ever. Ever. People do it all the time. It's wrong. Don't do it. Be good. Alright. I know not whence you came, but with your soft-hearted ideas. If you can guess what accent I'm doing, I would appreciate to hear it in the comments because I have no flipping clue. But placing trust in the likes of monsters I need only to regret. I think I'm trying to do some sort of mix of like Zevron and <laughs> Josie from Dragon Age. I think and Teven is where I'm going with this accent. But placing trust in the likes of monsters I need only to regret. Humans and monsters cannot coexist. They are incompatible beings. Very well. My fervor has suddenly diminished. <laughs> it seems that my people are near death. I must thank you. If there is anything I can do to help you, I shall do it. We are passionate people, we knights. We need to cross the ice. I see. A somewhat troublesome task indeed. Each year there are those who try to cross it ignorant of its perils and lose their lives. Very well, I shall assist you. In any case, preparations must be made. First, return to my village, Royberg, and rest yourselves. Alright, so we got a new party member. This is going to be exciting! I really like Juliet already! I mean, granted, she wants to kill all the monsters, but you can't entirely blame her. That monster did kidnap all of her villagers while she was away. I'd probably be annoyed if I were a knight, too. Do -do -do. Alright, so we'll go ahead and save this file again. Never too much saving. Let's see what awaits us in Royberg this time. Allow me to formally welcome you to Royberg, the village of knights. As for our next, next move... Julianne, I've been waiting for you! What are you doing here, Lilos? What am I doing here? I wanted to help you. Help me, you say? That shall not be necessary. But you asked me to. You asked me to help you. Do you not remember? I asked you to help me? What nonsense! If I allow myself to be deceived by your falsehoods, I shall be unable to take lead of the knighthood. Oh, you're not the leader of the knights. Maybe. Falsehoods? What are you talking about? Juliet, why did you change? Uh-oh. I sense bad things. Again. She did have that random personality change while we were talking in the cave. We'll see. What happened to you on that day? And what's that day? Should we know what that day is? Whoa! Whoa. Away with you. It is unfortunate that you had to witness that. I mean, a difference of opinion, of course. You just smacked him like 20 feet. That's a pretty extre extreme way of getting your opinion across. Well said, Oron. To get your opinion across, you do not need to hurt other people. 
It was unavoidable, as I set a precedent for others. Anyway, it is of no importance. No importance? I shall arrange for a guide to lead you across the Floberg waters. In the meantime, rest yourself here. <sighs> Make us feel welcome! Bring out some drinks! No, we're in a hurry. Let's do it. Is your test so pressing that every second counts? Yeah, this is a lot more important than you could imagine. You see, Interceptor here is... Be quiet, Kier. Yes, ma'am. In the word, words of Lando, this deal just keeps getting worse. What, what is going on? Oh well, I'm gonna take a look around the village. Bye, Iterna, I guess. Let's just take the opportunity to rest up and recover our health. Bye, Oron. Yeah, this is the first chance we've had to take it easy. And anyway, I'm kind of excited to be in a new village. I'm gonna have a look around. Bye, Kier. Don't you want to go? No, my heart's not in it. I can't stop thinking about that boy from the cave. I messed up though. I don't have any regrets. It will do us good to be around some cheerful people. Let's talk to the villagers. All of whom were just kidnapped. So they might not be in the most cheerful mood. But maybe they'll be very grateful and very happy. You might be able to find out some useful information, right? Come on, let's go. Goodbye, everybody. Okay. To the end. Yeah, that was some weird stuff. In the old kingdom, there were people known as minstrels. Great men who would put tales to song. I myself am directly descended from these noble wordsmiths, these distinguished men of song. The problem is, Her Highness is simply not herself lately. It truly really doesn't make a very good song. <laughs> snow, snow, oh tell me snow. Wouldn't you young folks like to try an ancient dish from the old kingdom? Okay, blah blah blah, recipe, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. It's ready! A horse oak casserole. Thanks. Most of the villagers of Royberg are descended from the people of the ancient kingdom. Maybe the ancient kingdom was that purple encased area. Hmm. I teach the children here in the village. We all recognize that both the pen and the sword are very important. So I handle the pen part and the knights take care of the sword. Hmm. Well, that's a noble calling. Ooh, treasure. Oh. What is this? Can you not wait for our guide to be ready? There is no need to hurry, so spend some time here in my village. You shall soon be on your way. I think there might also be a little count uh, from Sesame Street in my accent. I really... Me doing voices is one of the most hilarious things you will ever hear. You might disagree. <laughs> But my accents are pretty atrocious. I train myself constantly so that one day I'll be able to assist Lady Julienne. I know I've still got a long way to go, but seeing you fight has really inspired me. So Julienne is definitely the one in charge. Just the verb tense of I shall, you know, never be knight or whatever was she said. Didn't make much sense. I should sell my stuff before I buy weapons. Alright, hi Iterna. 
Everyone here seems to have a lot of confidence in the knighthood. That Princess Julianne in particular. I don't know what on earth they see in her. <laughs> blah blah, recipe, give him the recipe. Great, thanks. I don't want any of your recipes, but I could buy things. Well, I can't because I have no money right now. Okay, let's restock a little bit here. This is why I don't buy Athenian waters anymore and I don't use them. But everything else is good. Super good. Hello, welcome to our fine establishment. No one ever accomplished anything on an empty stomach. You'd be wise to remember that. It's all thanks to Lady Julianne that we can even enjoy our food like this. I'm glad. I love the princess so much. She's so strong and so beautiful. Nice. She seems okay except for her weird personality thing. She should talk to somebody about that. Everyone here in the village relies on the knighthood to protect them. I'm ashamed to say it, but although I may be big, I'm a coward. <laughs> ah, there's gear. I'll talk to you later. Ah, oh, hi, researcher. Oh, it's you. Glad to see you got back from the cave safely. Thanks to you, I didn't end up as monster food, so I can continue with my research. I don't know, there were days trying to finish the dissertation where ending up like monster food sounded like a good thing. He must not be that far along. Thank you so much. I love looking into ancient texts and records, you see. I'm far more at home with a book in my hand than a blade. Say it, brother. Just, yeah. Some of the knights tease me and call me Professor Papyrus and stupid names like that. I like Professor Papyrus. I'd go for that nickname. If any of my students ever get a hand on this, that's what's going to happen. Oh well, doesn't bother me. They're descendants of the ancient kingdom, so I understand that they have their pride. Uh, the ancient kingdom. What are you talking about? It fell long ago, but it was the only kingdom to ever rule over this whole island. They reached a very high level of civilization, and many remnants of it still survive. By looking through various old texts, I've ascertained the location of the ancient kingdom was what are now known as the Last Lands. Hmm. So there was once a kingdom where the Last Lands are? Wow, this is so Final Fantasy X. Okay, keep going. I've never actually been there, but it's definitely possible that some traces of the ancient castle may remain. One day I'd like to go and see for myself. You should join our party. I'd totally be okay with that. What language do does the ancient kingdom use? How many languages do you know? Oh, we could compare notes. It would be so wonderful. Hey, Kier. Maybe I'll go shopping, or maybe I'll try talking to some people. Hey, people will be suspicious of me, right? Will they? You do have a monkey tail, but I didn't notice that for a while, so we're probably fine. Thought I heard a food noise, but... Hey, dude. Uh, more food stuff. Sure, sure, sure. You can have it. Blah, 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 blah. I do need to remember to use these. Before boss battles. Sorry. That's where I was going with that. Hello, old lady. Or an innocent looking little boy. Who can tell? I saw the monster who kidnapped us. He was just a little kid. If I talked to him, maybe we could have worked it out. Maybe we could have even become friends. Probably. You could have talked about your mothers and then cried a lot. Oh, magic consortium guy. I was looking for you. I want to sell all of my things to you. Um, not those things, though. Where's... here we go. Sell. 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 Sell.
Okay, so let's see what Sprite Night we can buy now. Already got that, already got that. Already got that. Radiance, that's new, we'll get that. Obtain. Obtain. Okay, there we go, sorry. Cleave we don't have, so let's obtain that. Here we have... Ooh, Cure 2, yes please. Inspire, okay, let's go ahead and grab one of those because we can. Flawless Blow, we have that? Oh. oh, sweet! I love haste. Let's obtain that sprite knight. Dream Shatterer. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. So many Sprite Knight we can obtain. Ooh, I love Region too. Osmos, good, good, good. So we've got lots of new Sprite Night. In between episodes, we'll rearrange our equipment. How about taking it easy for a little while, eh? Guess it might be worth talking to some of the villagers, though. I think we've talked to most of them. Oh, except for these people. There's nothing like a nice hot steam bath. The secret to a long life, I say. These baths are me, and I am these baths. Right now, you are in fact inside my very being. This room is filled with the beads of sweat from my body. Okay, creeper. These baths are a mirror of the world. Everything is here. Joy and sorrow, war and peace. This is where I've chosen to do battle. You too must choose your own way. I think they are burning something in here besides logs. That was just a very weird experience for everyone involved. But we're out of there. I think we've just about talked to everybody. If we have not, in fact, talked to everybody. We talked to you. Yep, we've talked to you, other man. Anybody down here? I has the third strongest in the whole knighthood. Pretty impressive, huh? I'll bet you're lost for words. Only because Endir doesn't have a very large vocabulary. We've been in here. Yeah. So I think we've talked about everyone. So, oh. Our mysterious man. Okay, we'll make this episode a little bit long and get this whole plot point out of the way, shall we? Awkward. So you- oh, you're not the dude. Who are you? You really look like the mysterious man. I'm not wrong, right? Okay. So you are the heroes who saved our village. I am Lady Julian's second-in-command, Cornelius. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, it is. I'm just not. <laughs> Good. I was going to be really confused. Cornelius and Endir were just being dumb for a while. Endir, is something wrong? Does that mean that Lady Julian is his master? And that means the person who hired us? 
This is weird. This is super weird. We're supposed to pretend not to know each other, and it's none of her business. So, nothing. So, you are the travelers who rescued the people of our village. It is thanks to you that no lives were lost. Thank you. I am very grateful. Once again, I must ask that your lips remain tightly sealed with regards to your mission most especially in front of Her Highness. Do we have an understanding? <laughs> Who are you? Nice. Yes, yes, exactly. Very good. We shall soon depart. Make preparations immediately. Ah, Your Highness, depart? But for where? We must ensure that nothing like this can ever happen again during our absence. Mobilize the knights and have them eliminate all nearby monsters. As you wish. I shall have the knights prepare for departure. What's wrong? Did she do something to you? Want me to give her a piece of my mind? How about I give her a blast of my magic instead? Be quiet, both of you. Interceptor can take care of herself. What's the matter? She said she was going to have the knights eliminate all the nearby monsters. If they do that, that little boy will... Please, Interceptor, try and forget about that boy. You have an important duty f to fulfill, remember? Yes, I know. Hey. I... I agree with Interceptor. I want to help him. Here. I mean, he's just like us rare bloods, right? He's not quite human. And not quite a monster. I'll bet he feels all alone in the world. If I could just talk to him like Interceptor did, I think we could become friends. Oh, now you too, Kier. Are we going to help him then? Endear, Endear. I don't think Endear cares. So we'll just say fine. Thank you, Endear. How unlike you, Endear. Oh, well. This is Interceptor's journey. We gotta respect her wishes, right? Thank you, Aura. No need to thank me. I don't want you to have any regrets when this journey is over. Alright, it's settled then. Come on, we need to hurry. Thank you, everyone. So we find that little monster before the knights do and help him escape. Have I got that right? Yes, please. Now everybody's back in our party. We have a hidden agenda trophy, which is exciting. Nobody seems to be any wiser for what we're about to do so we will stop here and next time we will try to save the little monster and see how successful we are with that thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it please subscribe comment tweet to your little heart's desire tell your friends tell strangers and next time who knows just who knows with this game. Bye.